Florida Fish and Wildlife estimates more than 4,000 bears live in Florida right now, but those numbers don't include two little Kodiak bears, which were found in Okaloosa County in December. Deputies say those bear cubs escaped from a nearby enclosure, and body camera footage of that discovery was released by the sheriff's office just this week. Today, we connected with the deputy who responded to that call. Tanner Stewart joins us, and Tanner, one animal expert, says the owner of these two bears could face some serious violations. That's right, so we're still waiting for confirmation on where exactly this investigation stands right now, but these two cubs found their way to the Sunshine State via self-proclaimed bear trainer right in Okaloosa County. Where in the world? When I rolled up on scene and this guy's literally playing with them in the middle of the street, I'm like, okay, this is definitely an odd call. Okaloosa County Deputy Amanda Balliel was just three months into the job when she learned what originally sounded like a routine call for bears was far from normal. I've been to many bear calls before, um, all of them dealing with black bears. Uh, what piqued my interest with this one was when dispatch told me that they were inside of his truck because all of my other calls I've ever been are they're rummaging in the trash, in the yard, they're up a tree, but never inside of a truck like that. As it turns out, the sheriff's office says the cubs are Kodiak bears, the largest bear species in the world. Kodiaks are found exclusively on islands in the Kodiak archipelago in Alaska, 3,600 miles from northwest Florida. Deputy Balliel says endless possibilities entered her mind on how the bears found this rural Florida road. I was going through any possible situation on how they would have gotten the area and I I was just unsure. I had no idea where they had come from. Valiel says she stayed in the area until Florida Fish and Wildlife arrived and took over the case. The sheriff's office says the bears escaped an inadequate enclosure at a nearby home of a self-proclaimed bear trainer. Today, a locally licensed animal expert says the bears could have been purchased legally and moved to Florida. I'm told it's extremely difficult, though, to obtain the proper permits for them here. John Hamm owns 40 exotic animals from birds, mammals, amphibians, and reptiles right here in Pensacola. He's the owner and director of Animal Tales Southeast. Obviously, I think most people know bears do not make good pets, and uh, you should do your research for acquiring an exotic animal, but acquiring bears is on another level. And, and with that comes USDA licenses, fish and wildlife licenses, and in order to own one in Florida, you'd require a class one license, which in that circumstance, the bears shouldn't be escaping. Ham says all signs in this Kodiak mystery point to major violations for the owner of the bears. If there were some licenses there with these Kodiaks, there's a good chance they wouldn't have gotten out. There's no chance because when fish and wildlife comes out, they, they have guidelines that you have to meet, which is a, a size gauge of a cage, how deep it's buried in the ground, how high it is up, and that's just the first wall. Then they got a second barrier and then they have a third barrier. And it's so that if they do escape one, they got another one and another one, and hopefully that animal can't get through three barriers before somebody realizes it. Now we're told the owner is facing numerous violations with FWC. We're still waiting to hear from them with details in this investigation, including the bear's whereabouts today. If you see a bear in the wild, John Hamm tells us to get as far away as possible and call FWC immediately. In the studio, I'm Tanner Stewart.